Hello everyone, it's the Anime here. Today we're going to be doing a Boruto episode review on Boruto episode 190. So yeah, let's get into it. Hit that shit. <laughs> The episode begins with Komohamaru Shikamaru talking to Naruto in the Hokage office. Now, they are talking about uh, Kara and the vessel Kawaki and what the karma mark is. And Naruto says, okay, I'm going to have to go visit this, like, myself, you know, go visit Kawaki, see what's up, see if I can get any, informa any information out of it, as Hokage, you know, this is my duty. So, then we cut to the Scientific Ninja Lab, where Kawaki is being held, and Team Seven's there, and they are talking to Katsuke about, like, what, what, um, what Kwaki is, and he's like, he kind of explains a little bit more in depth, which we already got slightly in depth, like how Kwaki's like almost a living, really scientific ninja tool that's still human. And then we cut to Kwaki like slamming the door with his, he's in um, cuffs basically that disable his tra chakra, so he can't use it. And he's just banging up against the door trying to escape. And then that's when he realizes, Kwaki, that he's too tired to do anything. He's too injured. He, and that, But he just keeps on trying. Because he thinks that he's in, like, a car base. Like, car captured him. So he wants to get away from, like, Jigan and Kara because how much they tortured him. And how much trauma he had with him. So he's just focusing on escaping, like, live and breathing, you know. So then, <clears throat> we cut to a scene with Naruto, and uh, getting on a train to head to uh, to head to the scientific ninja lab. Now I'm I'm just gonna add this little comment here. I don't understand why he should, he can't just run like this. This suck is faster than a train. I don't know why he just doesn't run there, but you know it's just a little nitpick, right? <laughs> Like, he could be there so much faster if he just ran, because with KCM2, it just zooms. But yeah, that's just a little nitpick. But after that scene, then we cut to Boruto and Team 7 and Samuri going to give Kawaki food. And when they give him food, he lashes down and just kicks the food tray over and it scares Samuri. And Boruto's like, okay, that's an idiot of shit. And just grabs him by the sh shoulder and says, Dude, we are not here to hurt you. We are just trying to give you food. It's not poisoned. And then Summary slips up and tells Kwaki where they're at. And that's just a little slip up that Summary makes. So then they walk out and close the door. And then we cut to, I believe it was like probably like an hour later. And Kwaki's like, hey, um, hey. Uh, I, I have a uh, I have a request request so Boruto and Team 7 go back into the room and then it cuts the scene like really why did you have to be so dramatic Boruto says you just need to use the restroom it's just like but it was important Kawaki's like it was important so then they go and then Kawaki sees this scientific ninja tool through a window like there's people testing it and it was a flashbang basically with smoke so he takes notice and then these two guys walk out with a box of them so he shoves them and makes them spill all the boxes and you would think like okay it's gonna make a huge flash but nothing happens so you're like okay it was a failed plan it was a failed plan nothing happened you would have them think so then Boruto and Mitsuki go walking to the bathroom with Kawaki since they have to keep an eye on him. When Kawaki, you know, seemingly is about to piss, you know, and 
the urinal, but then he pulls out flashbang that he must have grabbed, you know, from when he bumped into that guy and made him drop everything. And uses it and then escapes. Now, this, you know, sets off alarms, like, okay. Sets off alarms, so Quark is like, okay, I gotta get out of fast. So he climbs through a vent. And somebody, somebody realizes, like, okay, this is my fault. I gotta do something about this. Okay. So, she goes and chases after Kowalki. But then we cut to a scene where Kowalki walks into, like, a scientific ninja lab storage unit. And he sees a box. And this box was labeled. Um, it had the... Uh, Ninja Tool gadgets, which will come important in later. So, then we cut back to um, Summary, trying to find Kowalki. And New, her pet, she says New stays here, you know. And New was about to stay and then decides to follow Summary, which will both be a huge play. And also a mistake. You'll see later on in the episode. And really, I, I feel like, even in the manga, just a little side tangent here, even in the manga, I feel like they really are setting up a Simmery and Kwaki ship. Just, they have a lot of interaction, have been having a lot of interaction in these episodes. And it really does look like they are setting up a summary and quacky ship almost. So all the boro summary shippers out there, I'm sorry, but I feel like it's gonna be boro to I mean not boro to a quacky and summary. So new he decided to follow summary, which summary doesn't notice. And then Quacky's running downstairs and Summary's running up the same flight of stairs so they run into each other. So then they have a little scrimmage and it seemingly Summary has Quacky pinned and now this probably wouldn't happen, you know, if he was Quacky was at full strength, but he's still fatigued, so he gets pinned. But unbeknownst to Summary, Quacky from that box earlier took out a scientific ninja tool, which he knows how to use, and does a wind blast. And knocks her against a wall. Now, New, who decided to follow Simmery, sees this and turns into his beast form when he gets really mad. And literally almost chews off Kwaki's arm. Like, I swear, like, you can hear the crunch. And it was bleeding. Now, this breaks off his restraints, which means he can move a little faster. But at the same time, he's bleeding. So... Summary is able to get new off um, of Kowalki. And this is where a little ship moment happens. You can tell that they're trying to ship it. But it's with uh, Kowalki saying, You keep that thing around as a pet. You really are a monster. Just like me. And also, this is also setting up for the next episode if you have read the uh, synopsis of it. But I won't talk about that because that's technically spoilers. So then Kwaki starts running off into the uh, forest. But what he does notice, he's leaving a trail of blood, which will eventually lead to his uh, capture. And, well, that's where the episode ends. Now, overall, I'd give this episode on a scale of 1 to 10, probably a 7 out of 10. You know, it wasn't the worst episode. They also did switch back the uh, art style. I don't know why they did that. I think they might have, like I predicted, uh, given the last episode to a different studio to animate, which was okay. But yeah, so that's why we saw a different art style in the uh, last episode. And now it switched back to the regular art style. And I was kind of getting used to the art style of the last episode. I kind of begin to dig it. But it's whatever. And yeah, I'd give it a nice 7 out of 10. You know, it's, it's a good story setup. 
really it's just a really good story setup for the next coming episodes and we get a little bit more manga content which will probably be in another two episodes we'll probably get naruto meeting kawaki so yeah overall pretty good episode you know for filler episode yeah i enjoyed it so yeah thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video like subscribe or not you have free will and yeah the anime signing off